A little more than two years ago, farmers called off their massive protest at the doorstep of Delhi. Now, they are once again on the road to the capital. In both its demand and leadership, the protest now is very different from the earlier agitation. During the earlier protests, the farmers succeeded in forcing the central government to roll back its agricultural reforms agenda. So let's see how the current farmers' protest is different from the 2020-21 protest. Why are the farmers protesting now? Delhi Jalo was announced in 2023. Its headline demand is the legal guarantee to MSP for all crops. And some of the other demands are implementation of Swaminathan Commission's formula, full debt waiver of farmers, pension for farmers and labourers, withdrawal of cases against farmers during the 2020-21 protest, under the banner of the Kisan Mazdoor Morcha, which claims to have the allegiance of about 100 unions, and the Samyukt Kisan Morcha, a platform of another 150 unions, have called the protest that is being coordinated from Punjab. The two forums gave a call to remind Prime Minister Modi of the promises made to farmers two years ago. Earlier, Bharatiya Kisan Union Samyukt Kisan Morcha led the 2020 protest of the farmers. Are the leaders of 2020-21 active again? No. Samyukt Kisan Morcha, non-political, is a faction that broke away from the original Samyukt Kisan Morcha in July 2022. KMM, the other organization in the current protest, was formed by Sarvan Singh Pandher. He is the convener of the Punjab-based Union Kisan Mazdoor Sangharsh Committee. The two prominent leaders of the 2020 protest were Rakesh Tiket and Gurnam Singh Charuni. As of Tuesday, tractor trolleys were on the move and barricades, deals and heavy equipment have been deployed to thwart the protesters. Tear gas shells and water cannons were reportedly used in Haryana Punjab Shambhu border to disperse the protesters. Unlike the 2020 protest, government this time took preemptive measures and all roads to Delhi have been blocked already. Moreover, Section 144 has been imposed in Delhi. The Haryana government sealed its border with Punjab. The government started the negotiation process even before the farmers' Delhi Chalo march this time. The first meeting between the farmer leaders and the union ministers took place on February 8th. The second meeting took place on February 12th. Even as the farmers and the ministers were talking, the Haryana government started sealing its borders with Punjab on February 8th. Haryana security arrangements this time are very tight compared with 2020. On November 26 and 2020, farmers from Punjab had broken through the barricades. This time, there were reports of farmers breaking through the barricades as well, but the police have deployed a range of thwarting tactics to disperse them. 